If you cast your mind back 12 months, you'll remember that the Mazda BT50 was drive's ute of the year again, because really, nothing had come along to knock it off its perch. In 2015, things have changed. This has been a champagne year for utes. As well as a facelifted BT50, there's also a facelifted Ford Ranger, an all new Mitsubishi Triton, and the one everybody's talking about, the all new Toyota Hilux. Clearly, all bets are off. Changes to the Mazda BT50 are cosmetic only, but when you're the reigning champ, you don't want to change anything unnecessarily, right? Thing is, the rest of the world has caught up with the Mazda in some ways, and its interior now looks a bit plain. It also misses out on some of the power outlets of the others, and while the rear seat is as big as any of them, the seat itself is a little flat. The ride is no longer class leading either, and the BT50 jiggles and jumps a bit on poor roads. But it's still a great thing, and that five-cylinder diesel engine really takes some beating. Like the Mazda, changes to the Ford Ranger this time around are mainly cosmetic. And like the Mazda, the Ford has the biggest backseat in this business. But the Ford's big step forward has been the optional driver aids package that adds to the vehicle's inherent safety. Along the way, the 3.2 litre diesel engine and six speed automatic combination still impresses mightily. And the Ford has the best ride quality, something that is always an issue with vehicles designed to carry people and a load. There's evidence of planning too. Things like the standard tray liner and tie down points in the load area all add to the Ranger's appeal. On the basis that people who use vehicles like this also have one eye on the budget, the Mitsubishi Triton scores very well. It's cheaper to buy than the others and uses less fuel into the bargain, quite a bit less in fact. The 2.4 litre engine sounds a bit underdone, but when you actually drive it, you soon understand that it's absolutely up to the job and even pretty smooth. The five-speed automatic gearbox is more of the same. Maybe lacking on paper, but absolutely spot on in the real world. The ride, however, can feel a bit pattery at times, and the interior lacks the sparkle of some. This is the one the whole world wants to know about. At times a top-selling vehicle in Australia, even outselling passenger cars, the all-new Toyota Hilux has awfully big boots to fill. Lucky then, it can walk the walk. The new 2.8 litre diesel engine is matched to a new 6 speed automatic gearbox and the body and interior are also brand new. The ride is a bit busier than the others here though and even with a big load in the tray it still pitches and wobbles a bit more. The engine is a bit noisier than some and more obviously a diesel but that won't worry too many buyers. An impressive are thoughtful touches like the chilled glove box and a powered driver's seat and like the Mitsubishi Triton the Hilux features a reach adjustable steering column. And the winner of Drive's best ute for 2015, here it is, the Ford Ranger XLT. The Ranger got the nod not just because it has an excellent gearbox and engine combination, and not just because it has the best ride of this lot by a small but significant margin. The Ford Ranger XLT costs $56,990 as tested, and comes with a three year 100,000 kilometre warranty. The engine produces 147 kilowatts and the combined fuel consumption figure is 9.2 litres per 100 kilometres. But it also ushers in some new technology, well new safety technology. Optional on this vehicle is a package that brings active cruise control, lane assist, blind spot warning and even forward collision warning. And that's technology that you can't get on the other utes for any money. So it raises the oh &S bar, and that's important in this class of vehicle because not everybody is an owner-driver. Then when you throw in things like the fact that this car's got the best rear seat accommodation and practical stuff like a standard tray liner, and it's just the logical choice. <laughs>